We're here in downtown Warrensburg, getting ready to learn how to bake some bread at Green Truck Bakery. Yeah. So what kind of bread are we making? We are making what uh, we call garden bread. Okay. And it's got carrots and onions and hazelnuts. That sounds delicious. Yeah. So what's next? <laughs> so next is the starter. Just pick the bowl up, carry it to the mixer, and dump it in. The next step is add the rest of the ingredients, which we have already measured out. This is honey from uh, a guy here in town. So you guys locally source all of your ingredients? We try to as much as possible. Awesome. Yeah. Next is the flax seeds. Flax seeds. What's yeah. a flax seed? Uh, the seed of the flax. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I've never heard of that before. Uh, Next, it's the garden bread, so let's add the carrots. Awesome. Oh, yummy. Yeah, there you go. Right in? Yep. Perfect. Perfect, thank you. Got them all in there. <laughs> and and onions. onions. Now, carrots and onions in bread, I've never heard of that before. It's a- uh, Is this a, a it, recipe that you guys came up with? It's uh, actually, uh, they do it in uh, Sweden a lot. Uh, yeah, and it uh, makes the bread right moister and softer. So we've added all the ingredients. Yeah. We're ready to mix it up. We're ready to mix. Let's do it. All right. So now that we've mixed all the wet ingredients, then, what's the next step of the then process? Then we add the flour and the dry ingredients. Then we take it out of the mixer and let it rest for 45 minutes. And then we stretch the dough, which there's a batch that we mixed earlier that's ready to stretch. Awesome, that sounds fun. It is Get fun. our hands in the goop. Yep. <laughs> okay, here's some dough that we started a little earlier this morning. This is sourdough, and it's a pretty wet dough. What we're gonna do is just gently stretch it, stretch each corner, then I turn it around and I'll give you a shot at All it. All right. Okay. This will sit another 45 minutes, lets the gluten develop, and then we'll be ready to start shaping it. That sounds great. So how did you get into baking bread? Where did you learn all this stuff? I worked with my mom who, who baked for us every week uh, as I was growing up. I later got more interested in small bakeries. After I retired, I started doing it. And so we've been working with uh, wood-fired ovens and uh, artisan breads for about seven or eight years now. So when do we start putting bread in the oven? After it's done fermenting, then we get all the, the dough out onto our table. We cut it into approximate sizes for the weight we're gonna use, weigh it, get it to the exact size, and then we shape it into the shape to make a loaf or to make a round bowl. Well, thank you so much for showing me the process. So let me give this back to you. Although, I do want to hold on to it. <laughs> Watch the full episode or explore more unique places on the Missouri Life YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button below to stay up to date with the latest content.